Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategist. In this lesson, we're going to cover Internal rate of return, or IRR, is the rate of return at which a project breaks even and is used by management to evaluate potential investments. IRR functions as a return on investment, or ROI, calculation. To understand IRR, one must understand net present value, or NPV. Net present value is calculated by discounting future cash flows by a discount rate, which is the rate a company expects to earn on investments. If a project offers $1,000 for three years, the present value of future cash flows is not worth $3,000 to the company because it has an expectation that its money should earn more money over time. This concept is known as the time value of money, or TVM. If a company invests $2,000 into a project which offers $1,000 for three years at an 8% discount rate, the present value of future cash flows is $2,545.09. After subtracting the initial investment, the net present value of the project is $545.09, suggesting this is a good investment at the current discount rate. The internal rate of return is the discount rate that would bring this project to break even, or $0 net present value. In this case, an internal rate of return of 18.95% brings the net present value of future cash flows to zero. A company's discount rate is typically derived from its cost of capital, or the cost a company pays investors in exchange for capital, either in interest from issued debt or through selling equity in the company. The weighted average cost of capital often functions as a company's hurdle rate, or the minimum required rate of return. Because the IRR in our example exceeds the discount rate, or required rate of return, the IRR rule says that management should invest in this project. It's important to note that certain assumptions can cause the IRR to become overstated. For this reason, many investors use the Modified Internal Rate of Return, or MIRR, which account for these assumptions. Let's hear from you. Should management always invest in a project if the project's IRR exceeds the company's required rate of return? Leave a comment below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future.